Happy New Year, Pisces. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had a beautiful holiday season. So we're going to do a reading, a general reading on um, what you can expect or what spirit feels you need to know the most for 2024. Um, just ask your angels and guides to let you know what you need to hear the most. Um, this is a timeless reading, though. If you do come across it after New Year's, that chances are that's when you're meant to hear it. And that's when these things are going to unfold for you. So Pisces, we're going to pull from three new decks I just got. <laughs> and then in the middle, we are going to interject some deliberate love messages into this general reading with three cards from the person that's on your mind and what they're thinking right now. So make sure you stick around to hear those. And let's see what Pisces can expect in 2024. Oh my gosh, Pisces, the crowning energy. The very first card out of your reading is peace. Expect peace in 2024. Pisces, you might've got the best reading so far of all that I've done. Um, connected, journey, balanced, clearing. It's a 28, which is a 10. That's an ending. So um, Pisces, you're going into 2024 with peace being the crowning energy that spirit wants you and spirit wants you to know that. So let's take a look here and see what else. Sorry about that. Okay. What else for Pisces in 2024, please? This is the Angels and Auras Oracle deck. It's really, really beautiful. So the next card we have out is Archangel Raphael, card seven, represented by the color green. Love, travel, humor, vitality. Peace, love, travel, humor, vitality. Pisces, you have an amazing year coming out for you. Um, really amazing messages. It's really um, some good stuff, some good positive energy for Pisces. You might be, the, you definitely are, I think, the best reading I've done so far. <laughs> one more for Pisces and I was like I was going to do the air signs next and I kept getting this message Pisces Pisces so there must be a reason for that you're ready card 43 this is a seven and 43 is a seven in numerology so we have momentum validation encouragement prepared be prepared Get ready to be ready. Spirit is validating something that you're moving into a time where you're going to have forward motion. Use humor to keep your, um, you know, your vibration up and, and your vitality up. Travel and appreciate everything you see and do on your trips or wherever you're led to. Um, you're very connected to spirit right now and your journey is unfolding. You're getting balanced and your chakras are being cleared and you're perfectly ready for this. You might not think you're ready for this, but you're ready for this. <laughs> so let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. We even have see the humor. So spirit really wanting you to keep in the state of, of humor and laughter and being playful. All right, so we're going to move on to the um, mystical shaman pocket oracle. Um, the third of my, the second of my, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? I have them going in all different directions. Sorry about that. Hmm. I think this is the one that Spirit wants you to have first. So we have Earth, card 17. What else for Pisces in 2024? You have amazing energies here. I mean, I just feel really good about this. And your heart, I feel like your heart chakra especially has been and is in the process right now of being cleared of any blockages that may have been holding you back. So we're going to go with these two that are facing up. And we're going to actually look in the book on these because I haven't really worked with this deck other than now, other than the string of readings I've been doing for the 2024 for the Zodiac signs. So I like to get the messages from the book. So we have the Seer card 45. And I'm going to tell you what it says. 
The seer invites you to trust your intuition and follow it as it leads you forward. You may feel lost when it appears that your hunch is taking you in circles or even through a maze, but the hidden realms don't follow the rules of a two-dimensional map. Trust your gut and allow your perception of your circumstances to widen to include the nuances and the subtle cues that you normally miss if you take things at face value. The seer has gifted you with his magic. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. Remember that Pisces and your vision is clear. So whatever you've been feeling in your heart and your intuition, um, it's accurate and spirit wants you to know that. So it says the seer has arrived now to challenge you to get out of denial and begin telling yourself the truth about your situation. Wishful thinking will not make you desire will not make your desire happen when you're refusing to see things as they are. The truth may hurt, but it will set you free to claim the bounty that is waiting for you to notice it. This is a moment of true power. The seer offers you his medicine. When you are ready, surrender your vision to spirit and ask to be shown the truth, no matter the price. Once you do so, your eyes will open and you will receive a powerful gift, right? And we talked about that um, in one of the other cards, you know, as well, um, about seeing the truth, about trusting your intuition. So definitely um, ask for the truth in a situation, even though that can be scary. Sometimes we don't always want to know the truth. You're ready to hear it. You're ready for this. That's why Spirit's asking you to do that. Spirit's just waiting for the cue from you to say, hey, show me now. Show me the truth about the situation. And then you will be shown and then you can make your move from there for making a choice that is best for you and your highest good. And when you do that, your gifts are going to just explode because you chose better for yourself. Let's see card 17 earth so when the earth symbol appears it represents a need to focus on reverence and appreciation for the natural gifts that are coming to you and now now and always the concrete world you inhabited is the inhabitate is there by grace of spirit and you are part of it much can be accomplished now when you focus on compassion reverent service to the world if you act with integrity gratitude and humility you will find yourself more prosperous than you can imagine. Success is assured when the earth appears, when earth appears as an invitation. So did you hear that? When you act with gratitude, humility, and um, integrity, you'll find yourself more prosperous than you can imagine. So remember that prosperity is coming. You just have to choose correctly. Do you feel grounded or easily thrown off your path lately? It's time to focus on what nurtures you, to open yourself to the healing of Mother Earth and see the abundant world around you. Perhaps you have lost the ability to trust that your needs will be met and have fallen into prey to poverty consciousness. Perhaps you have not been eating well, been overworked or stressed, have forgotten to breathe in the beauty of your surroundings. When the spirit of Earth comes in as your medicine, you're being reminded that when you practice self-care, take a walk in nature and focus on consciousness of abundance miracles can and will happen so asking you to co-create with spirit balancing yourself clearing your energy of anything negative that doesn't serve your path to your highest good love travel humor all these things are very high vibrational things as are going out and getting grounded by putting your feet on the earth or your palms on a tree you know, um, and talking to, um, you know, the moon from your bedroom window, you know, um, asking to be grounded into the power of mother earth, like a strong rooted tree that can't be blown over asking to see the truth and to stand tall in that information. When it arrives to you, these are all things that are going to bring you the ultimate peace. And that is what awaits you in 2024. Believe me, Pisces, you're ready. The sweat lodge card 54. Let's take a look. Okay, I don't think this one has come out for anyone yet in the readings. Um, this is a time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with ancient earth wisdom. You can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark, like I said about talking to the moon, by lighting a candle. Observe what emerges and without judging it, invite it to bring you its gifts. You are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown. Do not worry that you will be consumed by the process. See, 
you're 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 outgrowing some things and you're shedding that and that's why spirit wants you to keep you in a keep you in a very um, high vibrational space because you're gonna see the truth and and you're gonna have peace in all of this as it unfolds even if it feels a little uncomfortable while it's happening and for some of you it's gonna feel exciting and amazing while it's happening so just remember that so life is offering you a second chance Pisces take it since this may not come your way again for a while mother earth is calling you into her womb and inviting you to incubate as long as needed for spiritual rebirth give yourself time to be with your darkness your fears your pain your seeds of beautiful potential until you come out on the other side free wise and full of creativity oh wow pisces you're getting ready to come out on the other side you're being reborn you're being reborn into a life of peace that you may have never known before this. 2024 is going to be amazing for you, Pisces. I really hope, you know, spirit has a way of getting everybody the message that needs to see it. And I look forward to you receiving your message. Oh my gosh. Receiving this message so you can know the beauty that awaits you. These cards are so very stiff because they're brand new. I just like made a mess. I'm sorry, Pisces. Let's take a look here. Let's try one more time to shuffle this deck. Okay. They're so new and stiff, it can be hard. This is the Divine Masters deck. So tell me, Spirit, for Pisces, what does Pisces need to know for 2024? We're going to get three of these, and then we are going to pull those. Um, I don't know if I said that in this reading yet, but the Burning Heart Love Oracle, we're going to interject some love messages into the middle of your reading deliberately. So whoever is on your mind, whatever person of interest is on your mind, ask Spirit to show you what they want to tell you from afar or whatever's on their heart if you're still with them um, because they're going to reveal three messages of romantic love to you in this reading. Okay, so... We're going to see what came out here for Pisces for 2024. We have Jesus coming into your reading, acts of service. When you serve, the universe serves you. And it doesn't have to be like going and devoting hours and hours of your time to volunteer, unless of course you really want to, and that would be amazing. But it could be just like, um, you know, buying somebody in front of you a cup of coffee or um, smiling at somebody who looks like they're down or telling somebody they look nice. Um, and the more you do these things, the more are gonna, will come back to you, you know, um, helping somebody in need in some way, going in your pantry and clearing out some of the old food that you bought that you didn't decided you didn't want to eat and donating it to a food pantry, that kind of thing, really going to help you. We have Joan of Arc, sacred activist. Don't be afraid. Stand up for your beliefs. Right. You know, um, this would be a card indicating that you do need to stand up for your beliefs. That'll bring you peace. That'll clear out any negative energy and that'll clear out any stagnation. Standing up for what you believe in and going toward that, not worrying what others think. And then lastly, we have Mahavatar Bajabi. Babaji. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce that completely spiritual awakening, inner interconnectedness, understanding the inner workings. And this is what this talks about going in and looking at your fears and your dark side and sitting with those fears and sitting with your pain and sitting with your anxiety and just trying to kind of float through it. Picturing yourself kind of like floating on a raft or if you're not afraid of water, picturing yourself just like doing a slow, easy, relaxed breath stroke through cool water where you feel so relieved and, and like you're enjoying yourself. Imagining that as you go through these pains and fears, sitting with them and not wishing them away, but floating through them to the other side. You're going through a spiritual awakening, Pisces, or you have, and you're coming out of that. You're ready to come out of it right now because of a spiritual awakening. And so, um, you know, everything is connected and you're going to start to see that. Let's take a look at your, um, we're going to do your uh, burning heart love oracle messages now. So I'm going to shuffle these. Spirit for Pisces. And they have somebody on their mind. You know who they are. Tell Pisces what the person they're thinking about wants to tell them. 
I wish you were here with me. Pisces, somebody's really missing you. I can't go another day without you. Those two cards go together quite well, don't they? One more for Pisces. So in 2024, you're going to find out that the person you're thinking about is thinking these things that, that come out for you now. What is the other thing that Pisces needs to know about the person that they're thinking about? What do they want to tell them? Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. So some of you Pisces guided here or might be in a situation of separation, you know. Um, this person that you're separated from is really missing you, really wanting to be with you, can't hardly stand being away from you for another minute. And every time their phone rings, I hope it's a text, I hope it's a DM, they hope it's a call from you. Nobody else, nobody else makes them feel like that. So know that you're missed, Pisces, and someone really wants to be with you. So we're going to set those back aside and we're going to pull some regular tarot and then we'll pull a few fairy inspiration cards and then we will wrap up your reading. probably the best reading um, for, for any sign and they've been really good but for you you just have all this peace and vitality and you're just ready to have it and it's like exciting I'm excited for Pisces so what else please so Pisces trust okay trust in this great journey trust in the spiritual awakening process have faith that all will be well you no longer need to be in this guarded guard your boundaries um, kind of energy spirits bringing you out of that set down the tiresome dark energies yes you're evolving you're you're and I feel like who and some of you have come here about a person and the person that you come, have come here about is kind of advancing and growing maturity wise Yes, you're coming into a period of happiness and love. This is the most positive card you can get, Pisces, when it comes to a love reading, especially the Four of Wands, is having stability. Fours are a number of stability. For um, happiness and stability on the home front when it comes to love and relationships. See, there's a sense of you kind of being guarded of your boundaries, of you being kind of worried, of you kind of like having too tight of a control on things or somebody's trying to control you too tightly. But really, this is a self-imposed imprisonment of your own mind, Pisces, and it could be part of your spiritual awakening process. Do the shadow work and look within to see what's blocking you and keeping you in this imprisoned kind of frame of mind because you really do um, deserve freedom and you are coming upon it. Yes. A new opportunity for Pisces, a new job, a raise, a stable, grounded love opportunity, stable, grounded emotions, stable, grounded relationships. The beginning of something new is coming into fruition and it is being birthed because the, pay, the um, Ace of Pentacles would be like the last phase and the manifestational process. You have the Ace of Swords, which is like the thought that creates the um, manifestation and then it's followed by the wands which would be the action that causes that was fueled by the emotion and the thought you know um and then you would have the um ace of cups which is the emotion that powers the action and then you would have the ace of pentacles as the last part right before manifestation of whatever it is you're hoping for it's on its way right quick in 2024 believe that now let's get one more. So Pisces, you know, a spiritual awakening process can be very tiresome. So some of you might be feeling tired, overburdened, overworked, like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You may need to try to delegate some things to some others in, um, in the Latin 2024, the beginning of 2024, while you're tired so that you can kind of like rest and recuperate um, because you may need to ask others for help 
to take some of the weight off of your shoulders and please do that. You're going to have the support that you need when you do. And look at this. And 2024 will end with you moving to calmer waters, the six of swords, everything in your life moving to more peaceful space than you have been used to in 2023. Easier, easier on the soul, easier on the body, easier on the mind. All right fairies we're gonna get you three inspirational fairies messages so fairies what does pisces need to know for 2024 what will help them the most oh four leaf clover you have found a four leaf clover unlucky times will soon be over oh my gosh pisces see i knew it you have peace prosperity, good luck, you know, all coming in here um, for you as you exit the darkness and the last parts of your spiritual awakening. Learn a little nudge. It's now your turn. Put on your thinking cap. It's time to learn. So you might just be encouraged to Learn something new, pick up a book and delve into the spiritual side of things that you're interested in. If there's something in spirituality that you're interested in or something you want to learn, please go ahead and do that in between, you know, working on your shadow work and learning about yourself and sitting with your emotions. Get ready for whatever it is that's coming by learning a little something, even if it's something small. We have gratitude. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. I mean, you can't get a more positive reading. Spirit reiterating that good luck and peace are coming, that you're ready for it, that you're going to be okay, um, that your fairies and your ancestors and your spirit guides are all rejoicing for you. You're going to be just fine. You have beautiful, beautiful stuff coming in 2024. So thank you so much, Pisces, for being here. I wish you the happiest of new years. I wish you peace and love and all the things this reading has promised you and then some. And um, if you want to get your own reading, just check the description box below on how to reach me and do that. And um, thank you so much for being here. If you like this, just do me a favor and click the like button. Thank you so much, Pisces.